Uh, you watching the brat? Chess to the brat, yeah. Get a subscriber tap. Chess to the brat. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, girl, hurry up. I don't even have the patience to, like, tell y'all why y'all... Actually, I'm gonna tell y'all. If you subscribe, for one, you'll become a better... For two, more money will come into your life. And that boy that you stalking, he definitely gonna hit your line. I'm just saying. Y'all, this video is... Embarrassing. Like, y'all are probably like, girl, how many times can a person get cheated on in their life? Baby, a million times. Like, if you're like me and you, you know, you got out your little dating around phase in high school and stuff like that, you probably have stories for days too, baby. Go in that vault. Go in that notes app. I know you have all the boys that cheated on you in your notes app. Come on now. If you guys watch or, like, look at my community tab, then you probably know that I posted about an emergency surgery that I just had to get. Um, I'm not going to speak too much on it in this video just because I want to do a separate story time on this if I can. And when I say if I can is because I am trying to take legal action for this situation. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all my battle scars though. I gained a little weight back, but y'all know I'm trying to lose it back. But anyways, it has surgical glue still there right now, but um, I can't even shave my belly because they had to cut me open. And I'm gonna, again, tell y'all more about it soon, but I'm about a week-ish post-op. I still have to go to my post-operative follow-up appointment, so hopefully everything is good. And oh, just for some little tea for y'all, cause y'all know y'all, I know how y'all get down. Some girl decided to comment. Oh, God really doesn't like ugly or something like that. The call was coming from the inside of the house. Okay, like baby, don't don't get to talking about what God don't like, baby, because God like me. I don't know about you. Stop projecting, because and y'all, she said she commented that on my post about my surgery. She commented that, like, that's such an ugly, evil, vile thing to do. Like, only an evil, vile person would do that. Like, and you're commenting that because we had a little disagreement because you commented on my video and was like, we don't, we don't like, um, vlogs, Chessa. It's like, just something real negative. And it's like, yeah, I mentioned at the end of my video that y'all don't really be watching my vlogs, but saying, like, y'all don't like my vlogs as a whole, especially when you know that me as a creator loves to make vlogs like i feel like you're just weird if you don't have nothing nice to say don't say nothing at all if i don't ask you specifically y'all drop in the comments if you prefer vlogs or if you personally don't like vlogs then you don't need to tell me that i didn't ask you that you don't think that i can see what y'all like based off of the views babe but i'm still gonna try and reach a, you know another audience still make my vlogs because that's what i want to do but i noticed i went and clicked on her profile and she has other comments on my page and all of them are negative they're not anything positive her other comment was like um please no more mukbangs she commented that on a mukbang mukbang video i did and was like no more mukbangs please like girl you don't like nothing i do around here you don't gotta be a subscriber bye i'm not the one because you'll get blocked you'll get blocked immediately or you'll get hidden from my channel so none of your comments will be seen by me or anybody else so y'all might want to be careful with that because i don't play that negative stuff okay because you know i have mental health issues just like the rest of y'all do I go through stuff just like y'all do and things that I see can hurt my feelings and I want to hit you and I can't hit you from the screen so I'm gonna just have to block you so don't do that. But yeah y'all let's just jump into the video so I'm gonna try I always say this but I'm gonna try to stop being so specific when it comes to like the timing or like the year of when this like stuff happens because and I'm gonna insert a picture or a screenshot on why I'm gonna stop doing this so much. Um, People can be a little strange sometimes. Y'all already know how I was in high school. Um, you couldn't touch me, but you could definitely date me. You could definitely be my man. I was dating around y'all, okay? If a boy cheated on me, next. This one cheated on me, next. Talking stages, all of that, right? And I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I had no type. I had a short boyfriend, I had a tall boyfriend, I had a ugly boyfriend, medium ugly boyfriend. I had anything you could think of in high school, I talked to it. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Stop playing. What the fuck? Stop playing. What the fuck is that? Ah! What the fuck is that? I'm scared. This particular time, I had a little tall nigga face. Like it didn't matter what you look like as long as you was tall. And y'all, anything is tall to me. I'm literally 5'2". 
I'm literally five foot two. I could have seen the ugliest troll. Like it could have been like a nigga I could have sat on my porch for Halloween. But if he was tall. My name's Kayla. So. That don't matter. That don't matter. Come sign this baby girl. Oh, okay. We're gonna go ahead and give this boy a name. This monster. No, I'm just kidding. And we're gonna name him Meep. And if you already don't get it just off of me saying Meep, then you obviously don't watch SpongeBob. But Meep, like those little tall fish that all look the same and they go Meep, like I I'm gonna put it on the screen. But like, if you don't know, you're probably too young. But yeah, he literally just looked like that. Long neck, little head, tall. It this, week, cause it might calm you down. Your feet listening. this girl that I, that's in this story time, she wasn't my best friend at the time, but she was really like a close friend. She could have, she might as well have been my third best friend at the time, cause we were hanging out really, really like often. Like we were hanging out all the time, like after school, she would spend the night, things like that. And we're gonna name her Bop. And if y'all don't know what a Bop is, I mean that's not lingo from where I'm from. I just think that name is so funny. Um, I see it on TikTok all the time. Hello. We're gonna call her Bop because that's exactly what she was and is. And we're gonna get to that. Y'all are probably confused. Like, girl, is this story time about her? Or is this story time about him? Girl, this story time is about them both and somebody else. I know I met Meep on the net. Because he didn't go to my school. And he didn't go to any school in my district or whatever. He wasn't, like, even in my city. He was, like, in a neighboring city or whatever. Like, I don't know why. But everybody, like, every dude that I used to talk to. Even, like, that I met on the internet or whatever. Were, like, they were always in, like, metro Atlanta area. Like, they weren't, like, a, an hour, two hours out or nothing like that. They were always, like, within, like, 30, maybe 40 minutes away from me. I'm pretty sure I met him on Instagram. Because I told y'all, like, the only way that I would meet people like talk that I would talk to like meet niggas and stuff like that was like through um them little kick group chats or if my friend put me on with somebody or like it would just be on Instagram it wasn't like I had any other way I wasn't meeting nobody in the grocery store I wasn't meeting anybody authentically in real life so do y'all remember that little phase I don't remember what year this is from and I'm pretty sure there was like a a future meme that was kind of like related to this situation if I'm like it was like something with ice I remember I don't really remember but it was like, um, y'all remember when people used to put like a, a basketball, like DM you a basketball or a football and be like, oh, I don't know how my ball came here or like, oh, I, I my ball ended up here. I don't remember what it was. It was something corny like, oh, I shot the ball and, and it ended up in your court or like it ended up here in your DM. Something like that. Some corny lame like that that used to work on me because it was easy to bat me back then, which baby, not no more. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't, don't do it. I peep Meep's page on Instagram or whatever and I peep a little DM. I see him in my request and it's one of them little pickup lines or whatever and I thought it was funny. I thought it was cute. So I opened the DM or whatever and of course we get to chat and I'm not going to bore y'all with the details of that. Me and my homegirls, we used to be like playing Uncharted. Like we used to play the game or whatever like when we got home from school and stuff or we used to be just eating. And just chilling or whatever and she was over and I showed her the DM or whatever and I was just like oh like look at this nigga that just DM me and like you know she was a friend again that I could trust with like oh do you think he's cute like stuff like that like there are some girls that I would never show my man like ever like even if he become my boyfriend I'll never show you that nigga like you will never come around that nigga like no <laughs> you no I seen that TikTok that was like when uh when your whole friend asked to see your man like why so you can take him and and do things with him come on now so she was looking and she had shown me this one picture on his page and it was like him standing in a door frame like in the in the walkway of a door and like his head was like damn near passing the door so we were just like oh like he's tall okay 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 i'm gonna eat it ah! let me answer the dm right now so when she showed me that picture i was like sold to the bad bitch with no ass okay that's all I needed to see. So I know what y'all probably thinking. Y'all probably like, oh, okay, so the first red flag was really, Bop was probably like hyping up how cute he was to her. Like she probably was saying some, make, making some weird comments. And y'all, I promise y'all, no, like this is not one of those videos where I'm gonna be like, and these are the red flags that, well, I'm gonna get to like a couple red flags once me and him started dating. But like off rip, there weren't no red flags. Usually there's red flags screaming in my face that I'm just like, mm, mm, mm like ignoring but no like she was like respectful about it she was like oh yeah girl respectfully like he's cute you definitely should answer his dm like 
he'll look cute with you, with you y'all will look cute together type of thing so it wasn't nothing weird like she never gave me them weird vibes which is why i was comfortable even showing her the dm in the first place there's a lot of girls that i would be like if i show this girl the dm she's gonna try to memorize the username and go follow him and go you know what i'm saying try to snatch these right from under my feet because there are girls like that and i've experienced things like that before which y'all know if y'all don't know then now you know if y'all have any friends that are like always being negative about a dude you show them if they're like oh he looks he looks sweet or he looks sassy like you shouldn't talk to him like no girl he's ugly like the ones that be gassing it like they be ODing about why you shouldn't talk to a nigga that they don't even know that they never heard of nothing about him they, they don't even know him from a can of paint and they just like drawing they just, just they just overdoing it nine times out of ten they want him because why are you why are you going so hard why do you care that much like me personally i don't even like to like judge dudes that my friends are talking to because it's like you're talking to him you're the one that's gonna talk to him lay with him touch him kiss him c converse with him go on dates with him not me so it don't matter what i think girl to be honest with you it don't matter what i think if you like him that's all that matters i don't ask girls about niggas no more like i don't do that because why now i'm now i'm annoying in the back of my head when you come around me and him that you find him attractive or that you think he cute like i don't need to know that so boom fast forward a little bit i answered his dm he you know the riz rizzed me whatever i give him my number we start texting we start facetiming every day we're talking like the whole nine how it always goes with chessa because you know i'm not no 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 link on the first day type of girl like now we're gonna text and call for a while before i ever see you if i ever see you if i ever see you no link wonder thank you very much so yeah we're talking and stuff like that and we start vibing we start like heavily talking i'm only talking to him y'all know i don't do the juggling thing he's telling me he's only feeling me he's like he's he's applying pressure quote unquote pressure pressure there it was no pressure back then it was no pressure the tires were flat but He's applying imaginary pressure or whatever and it's it's working and we're talking or whatever. I'm telling my homegirls, like I'm showing my mama, you know what I'm saying? I'm preparing my my mama, my brother to know that he's gonna be coming around this like, you know, I'm really feeling him type shit. So there's a skating rink that I think I told y'all I, I might have mentioned to y'all um in previous story times, but there was a skating rink that I used to go to religiously every single weekend. It was the it was the spot. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I low key wanna find a skating rink or like maybe i should just take my ass to cascade but i really want to start skating again like i love skating and like i could literally jam skate like i'm i'm a skater for real in these streets like i am a skater for real basically he ends up eventually telling me that you know we can link at the skating rink because like he said that he's been there a couple times and that him and his cousin can pull up or whatever and it wasn't like a situation where he was like oh you got a friend for my cousin it was just like he wanted to come with somebody type of thing because i really didn't have a friend for his cousin because at the time bop was talking to somebody we planned the day i mean it's not really a thing to plan it was really like okay i'm going this saturday i'll see you this saturday right so i'm there i'm there with bop and a couple of my other friends or whatever and y'all y'all know how i am i don't know if it's anxiety or if i have ibs but when i'm nervous like i be having to take a whole dookie like i don't know what it is but the nerves are so strong that my bowels move literally so i was nervous y'all i was probably farting up that skating rink i'm not gonna lie to y'all but in the skating rink there was like the the back end of the skating rink was really like where we were like me and my friends or everybody that was like regulars there because we knew like the the owner he had a daughter that was our age and she was like at a school in our district like we were all cool so like we didn't even have to pay anymore to go to the skating rink like it was just something like they allowed us to come every weekend it was like a little community skating rink type of thing and we would always be towards the back of the skating rink and on fridays and saturdays they would do like they would turn off the lights and have the little you know it would be a vibe or whatever so and when i say it would be a vibe some people would would be taking advantage of the lights being off like people were getting freaky in that damn skating rink i don't know what is wrong with y'all i was happy because i was like okay if i'm back here and he come in he not gonna be able to automatically just spot me because it's dark you know what i'm saying i'm gonna probably be able to spot him because he's tall like a dinosaur but he's not gonna be able to spot me because i'm back here like you know what i'm saying i'm gonna have time to let out all of my gas and get my nerves together before i you know walk up on him i'm gonna be able to pro approach him rather than him coming up and approaching me right eventually he's like oh i'm walking in or whatever and i see like this tall slender man like figure with this itty bitty ass head and this long neck like a literal dinosaur like i'm not joking y'all and i'm not gonna say like necessarily he was ugly in the face he he just was mid like he didn't he wasn't ugly or cute but like it didn't look like 
the face that belonged on somebody so tall. You know what I'm saying? Like it looks like he just, like you just took a regular nigga, like a, a meep, and just put it on a tall ass body. Like it just it wasn't what I expected, but it was like the height difference was it was it was enough. You know what I'm saying? It, it just it was just enough. You get what I'm saying? So we caked up, we skating, holding hands, whole nine. I mean his cousin or whatever, which well, no, no, I'm not gonna say that. She belongs to the streets. So it got to a point where he started coming over my house or whatever while my parents were home. I had to keep the door open type of thing. Like, y'all know the drill. But it was like, we were young as fuck. We weren't able to just, like, since he wasn't in my city, it wasn't like we could just go on dates every weekend. And, like, we didn't want to go to the skating rink every single weekend to, like, only see each other there. So I, eventually he came. He met my mom. Um, and I went and I met his mom, which was the most atrocious woman, which I don't really like to speak on people's mothers, but like, she was the meanest lady to me. Like I'm even the like day I met her, like I said, I hide her and I wore the most appropriate thing. Like y'all, there was no reason for her to be rude to me. I was raised correctly. I was respectful to her. I was, I had manners. Like, I didn't even go in their house. I just came to the door like and met her and she was just like looking at me like she was like, hi, like, I don't know if if she was one of them moms that you know the side eye moms or whatever but she was just nasty to me so i never really went over there he always would just like get come over my house or whatever and it was to the point where he would come over there when bop was over there sometimes right i don't know if y'all are gonna be like girl that was where your first mistake was you trusted her too much y'all y'all wouldn't have seen it coming either like if y'all knew bop Y'all would not have seen it coming either. The kind of interactions they had were just normal. Like they would, they wouldn't be overdoing it, like kikiing together. They wouldn't be flirting with each other. They wouldn't be having little side conversations without me included. Like none of that. It would be when we're all there together. We're all talking. We're all laughing together at the same joke. We're all talking about the same conversation. They're keeping a reasonable distance away from each other. Like boundaries are set. You know what I'm saying? And they're respected. It never gave no uncomfortable situation. It never gave me an icky feeling in my gut, in my in women's intuition. My woman's intuition was not, you know, the spotty senses weren't tingling. Nothing was wrong. Like they were always respectful and they created like a friendship, but it was like a healthy one where they just, it was a friendship they had whenever it was all three of us. You feel what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing else. And like she would openly speak about her boyfriend in front of him as well. There were only like two main situations that ended up happening while I was dating him with her that really like made me furrow my brow at her and like, you know, look at her a little funny. And the first situation was, it was around Fright Fest. Like it started getting cold out and stuff. And Fright, what, Fright Fest was at Six Flags and we all went to six flags together and she was supposed to be meeting up with her dude there like we were all three riding together with my mom and then her boyfriend was supposed to be meeting us at six flags or whatever so it could be like a little double date type of vibe or whatever right so we end up going he ends up meeting us there everything is cool like we're vibing we're all riding rides together and the way that i am when i go to six flags like usually me and my friends like or people that i go to six flags with we like to ride everything like I'm talking about I ride every single ride. There's no ride that's going missed except for the wooden rides, which we're going to get to that. But I get on the, the agoraphobia, the thing that, like, that drops you, the acrophobia, whatever it's called. The thing that drops you from all the way up there, like that stomach turner, I get on that. I get on everything. So eventually, Bob's dude ends up having to leave. Like, I guess his mama wanted him to, like, leave. It was getting late. I don't know. He had a curfew, something. Something happened where he ended up having to leave. And we weren't done riding all the rides or whatever. Like, we weren't done. Like, we were planning on staying there until it closed, basically. And, like, we wasn't tripping because we were all cool. And, like, we wasn't finna leave just because her dude left. And it wasn't like she was left out or, like, third wheeling at that point because we were all, like, there to have fun and ride rides. We weren't there to be kicked up like them six last couples being them lines, like, damn near about to create a child in them lines we don't we don't do none of that around here so um they, he ends up leaving and we riding our rides or whatever and we come up on this ride i don't know if it's called the twisted cyclone or if it's the american i don't remember what they said about it but it's this white wooden ride at six flags and y'all could not give me a million dollars like justin bieber could not convince me to get on that ride and justin bieber could convince me of a lot of things y'all i'm not gonna lie but i could y'all could not pay me to get on this ride like I got on it before and I felt like I got whiplashed and a concussion and a, a freaking, I don't know. I can't even think of anything funny. Like that's how 
mind boggled I am still from getting on that damn ride. Like for real. It really jerks your neck and like it hurts bad. And I don't know if it's just because I have a big head. I don't know if my brain's a little loose. I don't know because I see people get on it still and people be coming off enjoying it. And I be coming off like like seeing stars they walk up on this ride or whatever and apparently meep has never been on this ride before like he's he is dragging it he's like we need to get on this ride you said you was gonna get on everything i guess he thought that because he was my man and like i was like all oh, like about him i was gonna be like oh, okay like yeah i'm gonna put my big girl panties on and i'm gonna get on this for you like no i'm not getting on it i said i'm not getting on it i already have back problems from carrying all this I am not getting on it. Like, no, you can't make me. You cannot make me. I'm not getting on it. You can get on it if you want to get on it, but I'm not getting on it. So he's like, okay, babe, like, you don't have to get on it, but I do want to get on it because I've never been on it before. And so, like, just stay here and watch me or whatever. Y'all stay here and watch me. So immediately, y'all, Bop is like, oh, I like this ride too. Like, I'm going to get on it too. Like, I'm going to get on it. Like, hold it. And she handed me, like, the little Six Flags cup that we had. Or, like, I don't know if we were sharing it if it was hers. I don't remember. But she handed me whatever she had. Because, you know, you can't get on the ride with it. And she's like, can you hold this for me, Chester? Like, wait for me too. I'm going to get on it. And at first, like, since she never gave me no red flags before, it, I really wasn't thinking, like, hmm, like, what do you mean? Like, me personally, if my, my homegirl's not getting on it, her man is. I'm not gonna get on it with him like that's just me but I didn't know if I was tripping or not and I didn't want to be that like I was the type of girl back then that if like if I felt secure in the energy I wasn't gonna trip like if my gut wasn't telling me something's off then I wasn't gonna like think of it like well the principal no now I'm standing on business I'm thinking of the principal like so I'm just like all right and I'm thinking like and this ride was like a two-seater so I'm thinking she gonna get in the one behind him so that they're like behind each other in the carts because there was like open seating everywhere it like there were people getting on it but it wasn't a popular ride like it wasn't packed out like the goliath or anything like that she gets in the seat next to him like directly next to him she sits directly next to him and gets on the seat with him gets on the ride with him or whatever and i was kind of just looking like is she dead ass serious and he kind of looked over at me, not like a weird look, like a side eye look, like I was hoping for, but he just kind of like looked at me and like just looked forward. I guess maybe that was him trying to like keep it cool or like not look weird or whatever, but yeah. So that was a little weird to me. I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments if y'all think I was like, I'm just correlating that because of what ended up happening later or if y'all think that that was, that was a red flag. I know a lot of y'all gonna think it's a red flag because y'all be here with me. We be here. We be right here. I personally would not do this if I were you. What I'm about to tell y'all I did with her. I personally wouldn't do this even with your closest friend, even with a friend that you've been rocking with since taller than Tierra's. It does not matter. Never tell a girl your issues with your man. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You can tell them little stuff. Oh, y'all arguing about, you know, you can tell your friend about petty drama you got with your man, but don't tell your friends about no deep issues you got with your man ever. That is not their business. They are not going to go in and fix it for you. So it is not their business. That's just one. Keep your relationship private, not secret, private. They don't ever need to know when, when the, the union is down. I get it's not marriage or whatever. It don't matter. Your friends don't need to know when you into it with your man real bad because you never know what they'll try to influence you to do. And I don't mean like go do something shysty on him, like influence you to do something like that. I mean like you never know what seeds they'll plant in your head. And a lot of times when you into it with your man like that, you could be in a vulnerable state of mind where you don't really know what type of advice to take for real. And only you know your situation and your relationship. So that's just some food for thought. A lot of that can ruin relationships. A lot of that can ruin friendships. Just don't do it. Me personally, I at the time was still a virgin. I had never, you know, done anything or whatever. And I didn't end up doing nothing with him or the next boyfriend or the next boyfriend. I didn't lose my virginity until I was almost 18 years old. But that was not a problem that we were having or anything like that. But that was like an internal problem that I was kind of worried about. Like, I was telling her, like, I don't know if he's going to be okay with the fact that I'm not going to be ready for that for a while. Like, I want it to be special. I don't know that I'll be ready for that yet. I don't know how long he gonna be willing to wait on that because I'm not the type of person to rush me doing something I don't want to do. I was really a late bloomer with all of that. Like all of the physical stuff, I was a late bloomer. I might've always had a boyfriend, but I was 
the last of my friends to do things and all of my friends were telling me stories about what they had going on the freakiness they were doing and i wasn't jealous necessarily but i was just like damn it was like a fomo thing if y'all know what fomo is but i would talk to her about it i would vent to her about how we're not doing anything basically and like how he's respectful about it because he was respectful about it he didn't complain he would tell me like you know oh whenever you're ready like if you're ready just give me the word i'm not pressed like i'm not pressed about it that's not my focus like i, I really want to you know build with you genuinely like why am i eating this up at my little ass age like you want to build what you want to build what legos ain't nothing else we could build baby we are young please be for real but y'all i was a hopeless romantic you know what i mean like i like the notebook so i was like okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. eating it up again stand up stand up so that being said i know y'all know i told y'all about like i used to talk to talk like i used to talk real freaky in the messages but i wouldn't be like down to do stuff in real life i went for a different approach with him i was not talking like that with him like i was a lover girl just full on like i wasn't like calling him Y'all know, I'm gonna put it on the screen. I wasn't like doing none of that with him. I was like, a, it was a real like romantic, quote unquote, romantic vibe. It wasn't none of that freak nasty stuff. We didn't really talk freak nasty like that and stuff like that. So keep that in mind, that's very important. As our relationship went on, I feel like this was the universe protecting me for real because it wasn't like a feeling of me getting more comfortable with him physically to do things the longer we like were getting to know each other and dating. And it wasn't like, y'all know how people say when you with somebody, you start off with the butterflies and like they, they dwindle away and then, you know, they might come back or whatever. Like with me, the butterflies grow for me. They don't dwindle away. Like when I, when I'm feeling somebody genuinely, I get more and more comfortable with them. I desire the person more and more. It's not a reverse effect of like, oh, the spark is fizzing out for me. Like it can be that, but that just means I don't fuck with you genuinely. Like not I'm disingenuous, but I, it just means it's not what's for me. Basically, like if I'm losing feelings for you, the longer we talk, that means that you're not the person for me. So um i wasn't like the feelings weren't building like i was starting to like him more on a romantic level but on a physical level i wasn't like nothing was purring you get what i'm saying that's basically what i'm trying to say like nothing was making me want to i wasn't inclined to doing things with him at all whatsoever so there was a time where i was venting to bop about the situation again and i was just telling her like he doesn't pressure me he's respectful like i said but i was starting to feel insecure because i was a virgin but he wasn't like we already did the little 21 questions thing um we already got to know each other so i already knew like he already told me that he's been intimate before my, more than one time so i was starting to think like if he's not getting it from me I'm, I'm i was starting to feel like he's gonna get it from someone else like i wasn't thinking on a cheating standpoint i was thinking on like a this boy's gonna get tired of waiting and he's gonna dip you get what i'm saying type of thing so i was venting to her about that and she was kind of her approach was kind of weird to me it was kind of iffy to me because she was kind of like yeah maybe she was just being real at the time like maybe this has nothing to do with her weirdness she would be like you know if you're not ready you're not ready but i'm not gonna lie to you girl like if you don't give it up to him somebody gonna give it up to him and i'm not thinking in my head like she's talking about herself i'm not thinking in like the calls coming from the inside of the house again i'm not thinking like she's talking about you know the per the 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 person that's gonna give it up is in the room with us you know what i'm saying i'm not thinking nothing like that i'm thinking like okay she's just giving me game like okay he's gonna go find another girl to do it with if i don't but that wasn't that wasn't changing nothing i was just you know it was more so i just wanted another perspective what she thought funny enough fast forward like a week me and me end up arguing about some dumb ish i don't even remember what the argument was that's how dumb it was but we had ended up arguing about something and i started to ignore him a little bit like i was kind of like fake mad for real like i was being petty and ignoring him just because i wanted him to blow up my phone because like i might have been a little bit toxic but yeah i'm ignoring him or whatever and he ends up like texting me something real off like it was off for him to text me that like he was like you got an attitude because he was like he was like i know why you mad you mad because you need some boop like he he was like you need some you know what i'm saying and i was like I did not respond to that for like 30 minutes because I was just thinking in my head like who did he who does he think he's talking to because he ain't never talked to me like this I don't know if he's just in that mood which I don't know what have got what would have got him in this mood but we ain't never talked like that so 
it just something like that was the intuition thing like I just felt like the universe was telling me this whole time because as soon as he said that I was just kind of like instead of like addressing it like I probably should have addressed it which not really because I probably would it wouldn't have came full circle I probably wouldn't have found out what I found out if I didn't but I kind of just was like you know what I'm not even gonna mention it I'm not gonna say nothing to him I'm just gonna go through that phone when I see him like I fully decided full sand in that moment like the next time I see this dude I'm going through that phone because there's no way that there's not a female on his phone that he's talking to like this because he just slipped up and talked to me like that and we ain't never spoke to each other like that and even if I was wrong I needed the peace of mind I needed the reassurance and I was gonna go through that phone and see for myself because ain't no way in hell I'm gonna go out like that mm -mm, not again which it was dramatic to me because I was genuinely thinking, like I was contemplating it. I, I knew I wasn't going to rush myself, but I was contemplating giving myself to this person. And I didn't want to give myself to somebody who was playing with me. You know what I'm saying? And if me looking through a phone is what's going to give me the clarity and the reassurance that he was genuinely just talking to me like that because he felt that way and I wasn't going to find nothing in his phone, then that's what I needed to feel better. You get what I'm saying? So, and I, I still go through phones to this day, so I don't care. I mean, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe that's my problem. I say, what can I say? What can I say? But I was going through that phone, baby. <laughs> Put it on the counter. Put it on my dresser. 9 p.m. I'm going through that phone. I invite him over or whatever. I don't think it was the same day. Whatever day it was, I invite him over to my house or whatever. And I'm poker facing to the max. Like, I'm not good at hiding my emotions. But when I really need to, baby, when I really need some information, when I really have, like, a plan or a whole scheme going on, I'm able to poker face when I need to, when I really, really want to. So, I'm like, hey, babe, like, hey, or whatever. Like, I'm playing him like a fiddle. Like, he don't even know what's going to happen to him. He don't even know what I'm going to do. So... He ends up like, you know, coming up to my room or whatever, door open, he's in my room, we're chilling, and we're looking like through Netflix or something for something to watch. And I end up asking him, can he go downstairs? Like, I, I peeped him put his phone on the charger. He had put his phone charging like by my bed or whatever. And I had asked him, can he go make me one of them little craft um, microwave macaronis or whatever, which those take three minutes and 30 seconds. So that's exactly how long I had to go through this man phone. So... He's like, oh yeah, um, I can make it for you or whatever. And I specifically waited for him to charge his phone because he was the type of dude that his phone was always dying. So I waited till he put his phone to charge to ask him because like if he already had his phone, he could have went down there with his phone. But he just put his phone on the charger and it would have been a little like sus for him to like take his phone off the charger just because I'm asking him to run downstairs real quick. You know, that, that would have looked shady. Mind you, he was not even worrying about it because he didn't think I knew his password. But... You think that you getting on your phone around me and I'm not looking over your shoulder at your pa Like, come on. Tighten up. Like, what are you doing? I know that password, babe. I know the password. I probably have a face ID in your phone. You never know. So, I waited for him to go downstairs, make my little macaroni or whatever. And I put in his little password and I'm on that phone. I'm on that phone. And this is so funny because... Y'all are going to know why later, why this moment is so like similar to another moment that's going to be in this story time. The first thing that I do, because I knew that I didn't have much time, I go to that Instagram because that's how he hit me up. That's how we was talking. So I was assuming like if you started with me on Instagram, if there's other people in your phone, they're going to be on Instagram too. So I went to his DM or whatever. And at the top, there was this girl like I didn't really like scroll for real. Like at the top, there was already a there. And it, my DM wasn't even at the top. Like, our DMs weren't even at the top. There was another girl, and I went to their DM thread or whatever. And it started off, like, friendly. Like, I wasn't the type of girl at the time to, like, not let my nigga have friends. Like, that wasn't a thing. And I don't even know my stance on that. And now, like, I'm still figuring it out. But I was, like, I didn't care. Like, if you had friends. Like, I had male friends at the time. He had friends. Like, I didn't care. So I was just trying to make sure there wasn't nothing inappropriate in that conversation. So, and plus, I knew his friends. Like, he told me about his friends. Like, it's not like I met them or anything like that. But he told me, like, the female friends he had. And, like, because they would be up under his pictures and stuff. Which, red flag, girl. What do, what do you mean? <laughs> but they wouldn't be hard eyes. It would be like, brother, heart. Girl, that is not your brother. That is not your brother. But anyways. So, it's this girl or whatever. And I click on it. I'm looking at it. It's laughing emojis. It's calm, normal conversation at first. And then, it ends up getting flirty. 
there's hard eyes she's like damn bae like you look good he's like thanks shorty like how short are you you're so little things like that right and it and y'all i didn't even care at this point like i mean i cared but it wasn't like a i'm finna cry about it i'm finna i'm finna i'm finna change my profile picture to a black picture and put my my caption as don't talk to me like it's none of that it's like my women's intuition was telling me this i knew it i knew there was other people you were talking to because i just knew it like i be knowing i'm literally nancy drew i'm literally judy b jones judy b jones whatever the name is so i'm just like whatever so i lock his phone up real quick like i put it back where it was he gets upstairs and he's just like here's like your macaroni or whatever and i'm looking at him like it's like a, it's one of them moments it's like he's like babe are you good he's like christina and i'm like christina christina's gone <laughs> she got me up. oh and i forgot to tell y'all i sent her a cute little selfie of me i sent her a, little, a picture of me and then i locked his phone like i sent her a picture of me in the dms from his camera so she knew so she knew what was tea i mean that i don't think instagram had that feature but it was like i sent her like a like a instagram look photo you know what i'm saying i sent her a picture and then i locked it not that she probably cared because he posted me and they were still in the dms talking so she probably was like girl anyways she was probably like girl please bitch ho. but yeah so he's like what's wrong and i'm just like just staring at him like I didn't even know what to say at first so this is what set me off because as soon as I just like started staring at him and didn't say nothing he had glanced over at his phone which was on the charger like how he left it and he had glanced over at his phone and back at me to like see if his phone was moved or like touched I guess or whatever so that pissed me off so I, I was like give me my mac and cheese and he handed me my mac and cheese and I chucked that shit at his face baby I could have gave the man third degree burns. That's how hot that one mac and cheese was. But I did not care. Like, you had me messed up. So I, I threw the mac and cheese at him. He's like, bro, what the f Like, why are you throwing shit at me? Like, what's your problem? And he's like, wiping the mac and cheese off of his face. And I'm just looking at him like, get out. <laughs> I'm like, get out. And he's like, why are you mad at me? Why are you mad at me? And I'm like, why you don't ask that in your DM? And instantly, y'all, he starts apologizing. He's like, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I'm I I'm like, you didn't know what? Like, why why get out of my house? Like, I was not trying to hear none of that. I was over it. He's just like steady trying to apologize. And I'm like, get out of my house before I have my mama get you out. And I don't know what turned the started, you know, making the wheels turn in his head, but he was like, All right, so he got out, and it's not like my mama was a scary woman or nothing. Like, she was the nicest lady ever. Like but he ended up, was, he was like, all right, like, I'm going to call you. Like, I'm sorry, babe. Like, I, I want to make this right, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, boy, get, the, get, get, your, get out of my house. So I FaceTime Bob or whatever to tell her, like, basically that he cheated on me. And you would have thought she would have been like, oh, girl, he got you messed up. Like, I'll really beat his ass. Like, what's wrong with him? Like, he, he dirty? Like, no. She, the first thing that she had to say was, she was like, did you see who it was? Because I was like, I had found it in his phone and she was like oh did you see who it was like who was it and it was it just her like she was asking me hella weird questions and of course i was just so mad and like i was sad i'm not gonna hold y'all like i wasn't sad like i was definitely in my feelings about it i just wasn't at, like a hysterical crying type of like i probably shed a tear or two but i was just like i wasn't really thinking about like why she was asking me. i thought she was just being nosy but she was like asking me hella questions like oh did you see um who did it blah 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 and like the, what pissed me off is when she was like, was it just one girl? And now I know why she said that. But in, in the, at the time, I'm thinking just one girl, like, in an invalidating way. Like, just one girl, like, that's it? Like, like it wasn't that bad or something like that. Like, I was tripping or something. So I hung up in her face. And I was like, I was like, girl, and I hung up in her face because I was upset. I still was lurking on his socials. Like, I was still looking through, like, looking at his Instagram. And since we weren't together no more, this is, like, the first time that I went through, like, his likes and his following and stuff like that. I really wasn't, like I told y'all, I really wasn't, like, doing stuff like that unless I had a reason to. So I just, like, decided to go through his likes or, like, to go through his following or whatever. And I ended up seeing Bop in his, like, they were following each other. Which, mind you, I ain't never told her, like, other than when I showed her the first day, I never told her his Instagram. I never, like, tagged him in anything. They never exchanged information in front of me. So, 
I was kind of like confused and I was like what's going on here but I was logging it like I was logging it I did not instantly go to her plus I was already pissed at her for her like what she said on the phone so I was just like okay so I screenshotted it and I like went about my business or whatever I was just like all right so this dumb idiotic boy decided to pull up by my house and bring me flowers or whatever and I'm not even gonna bore y'all with that literally I had my mama like like send him off like she made me come to the door because my mom is a nice woman and she was just like don't like this this boy's mother drove him here and he's at the door trying to make it right like even if you don't take him back just just take the flowers and tell him thank you and tell him you'll call him or something and i was just like no and then she made that she gave me that look like come to this door and i was like okay so i went to the door i took the flowers i closed the door in his face and i told i said thanks i closed the door in his face and i threw them in the trash and that was it. like i was not going for it and i guess that hurt his ego i don't know i guess that really hurt his feelings really bad um because he decided to text me and was like i'm trying to make it right with you but you really just being a and you really mad at the wrong nigga like you really mad at the wrong person and i was like huh i'm mad at the wrong person who am i supposed to be mad at babe i'm supposed to be mad at the girl that i don't know because i'm mad at her too like anybody can get it anybody can get it like anybody can catch a fade but Oh, saying that I'm mad at the wrong person is crazy like I'm mad at you and he was like he said something like you so worried about what I did you need to be worried about that you call your friend what do you mean by that so I'm like what you mean by that like what are you talking about and he's like ask your friend and then he blocked me y'all how you gonna block me because you cheated on me like what so he blocked me so i'm like oh, okay so the only friend he knew of mine for real was bop and i knew like i'm an fbi agent i knew that if i directly asked her i texted her something like that i wasn't gonna get no information so i was like you know what i'm gonna just invite her over i'm gonna apologize to her for my little attitude and i'm gonna invite her over because i need to figure this out because ain't no way she's playing in my face like that after everything i told her after all the conversations we had and me getting vulnerable and stuff i'm like ain't no way in hell i ended up texting her and i was like girl i'm sorry i'm just really hurt and upset i shouldn't hung up on you i was just bothered and she was like nah like i can see how you could feel like i was invalidating or like I, if i made you feel invalidated or whatever she said she was just basically like i get it if i came off insensitive i'm sorry too i just was trying to like get more information yeah we know you was trying to get more information but we were just like it's like i'm like girl can you just come over like i was on some like i just really need my girl right now like i just really need some like something to take my mind off of it and it was the weekend y'all so i was like can you just come over and she was like yeah i asked my mama to drop me off or whatever and i was like come spend the night so her mama she did not care what she did so she ended up pulling up and dropping her off and i tried with everything in me with everything in me to keep it cool calm and collected right so she comes and we're hanging out we're on omega we're y'all already know how my sleepovers were we're eating ramen noodles we're playing the game blah 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 so i ended up waiting for the evening time like she was there probably from like 3 p.m and stuff didn't start going down to like 7 so around 7 she ends up going in to the bathroom to take a shower and she leaves her phone in my room we had each other's passwords which that's her first mistake right there but she ended up going to the bathroom and taking a shower and she took long showers she was one of them girls who she was taking an everything shower every shower so when she got in the shower i got on her phone and i went to her instagram and lo and behold there was a dm thread with her and me I waited for the the water pressure to make changes like I didn't want the, her to turn the water on and then you know come back into the room and see me on her phone or nothing I made sure like y'all know when y'all washing y'all hair the water like when you wring it out it like hits the floor and like you can you can hear the changes of the water or whatever so I waited specifically for that to start going through her phone so I'm in the DMs and at first like uh, at first I was confused because I was like not even confused I was like baffled because i'm like why how did y'all get each other's instagrams for one probably on that roller coaster but i'm also kind of like why are you dming him like this is just like she yeah yeah i was probably red like a beat like a tomato so the beginning of their thread she said something like tell my friend to text me back something like corny like that like she's trying to be like you better tell my friend to text me or something like that and mind you me and her never texted we were always on the phone we didn't even text like that and i never like went without texting her back so like 
that was not even a thing for real and he definitely never told me like oh your friend said to text he, he couldn't even tell me that because then I would know that they're DMing each other and they definitely neither one of them told me that so that was just her way of I guess not wanting to look weird and like a bop to him even though he knew like you know it was like her saying it without saying it basically and he was just like, all right, LOL. Like their conversation was real short, real dry at first, but then it started getting to like him siding up and being like, um, where you at laughing emoji. And then it st I started reading on and it started getting to like her saying, oh, you want to smoke and stuff like that. Like they started like talking about hanging out and stuff like that. And then at the bottom of the thread, there was a phone number, like they had exchanged phone numbers. So I had went in her iMessage or whatever. And y'all, I went through every freaking one of her messages. I went through even Fashion Nova texting her to make sure that that wasn't my man. Like, well, I mean, he wasn't my man no more, but I was looking all through her text messages or whatever. And the dummy, decided it was the smartest thing to do everybody had a contact picture like she's one of, she's like me i mean not everybody not anymore i used to be like that though like everybody had to have a contact picture or I, I was not texting you back everybody in her thread had a contact picture except for one person like there was like a blank picture i knew all of her friends it was some random thing that was like um friend or friend with like the most it was just something random like with no picture so i go to that and lo and behold it's him she done sent selfies, she done sent pictures, pictures of her, they talking about Lincoln, they're talking about nasty stuff, and he talking to, he's talking to her like how he texted me that one day, like, oh, you need some D. He texted her something similar to that. I remember specifically, like, remembering that he said something like that, and there was an address, like, they had sent, somebody had sent a location, I don't remember like right now i can't remember jesus right now i can't remember if it was her or him who sent the location but that's where the messages ended in that conversation with the with the location or whatever and then the next conversation after that was kind of like oh like um you smoked my down to a roach or something like that he had said something like she had smoked his whole basically and then was like they was talking about how um they had did something together, like something freaky or whatever. He was like, Oh, you better not tell nobody what we did. And she's just like, Well, if you want some more, then you better make sure nobody finds out. Something like that or whatever. So I'm like, okay. So I end up locking, like screenshotting that and sending that to myself and then locking her phone back. This is what I mean, like full circle moment. This is kind of like what I did with his phone when it was charging. Kind of like that. Like I locked it back and like left it alone and I went out. But I was so upset. I wasn't going to wait in the room for her. I had went outside to the backyard. I had a trampoline back there and I had got on the trampoline and I was just laying there and I was just thinking about what I was going to do. I didn't know what I was going to do. I was crying, y'all. Like, I was hurt. Like, I was more hurt by her than I was by him. I didn't even cry that hard about the situation with him. I was hurt by her because it was my girl. So I'm just laying on the trampoline and then she ends up coming out there, wet hair. She done washed her hair, everything. And she ends up getting on the trampoline and she's just like what you doing like you okay and we would get on the trampoline sometimes like at night or like we would just go on the trampoline like that wasn't abnormal for me to go out there so she wasn't thinking something was wrong she just but she also knew that i had gone through the breakup or whatever so she was just checking on me i guess she was like are you good like what's wrong i look at her and i'm like i'm gonna give you one opportunity to tell me the truth because meep already told me and i didn't even tell her that i went through her phone because i didn't want I wanted to give her the opportunity genuinely to tell me everything that I already knew that he didn't even tell me without leaving anything out even though I knew I seen everything because I know I know that if I told her I went through her phone and seen it that she didn't have no opportunity to lie I didn't wanted to see if she was going to fabricate anything or change anything around or leave anything out so I was just like me I mean not me I was like bop I'm gonna let you have one opportunity to tell me the truth because Meep already told me and she starts looking at me confused. She was like, what are you talking about? Like, girl, what are you talking about? She starts like cocking her neck or whatever, like with a little attitude, like acting like I tried her or something. So I'm like, you can get off the trampoline and square up or like, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> Basically is what I told her. I was like, I was like, get off the trampoline and square up. And she was like, what? And like, she stood up, but it wasn't like she stood up to get down to square up. She like stood up like, what? So I stood up and boop, I punched this girl off the trampoline, which now that I think about it, I should have let her like get up, even though she was like, what? I should have let her like still like get out. I should have told her again, get like get on the ground, like so that we could like, but I knocked her off the trampoline. 
I said, boo, and she knocked off the trampoline, and I got off the trampoline, and boo, 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 we get to hooking or whatever. She's fighting back at this point, like, she ends up getting up off the ground, and boo, 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 I get back on top of her, and I, boo, 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 and it's not pretty, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, the girl was leaking. <laughs> My big brother ends up coming outside because we're loud, like we're screaming. I'm like, yes, you, you wanna fuck my man? You fuck my man? And she's just like, bitch, what the? F you trying to hit me? You, you hit me? We supposed to be friends? And the girl, the girl could not fight. I'm not gonna lie. She, I mean, she's fought before. I seen her fight before. I don't know what was going on, or maybe I don't know. But I was like, I was like, let me teach you. Let me teach you. Bitch, what's up? Let's go. Come on, slide, slide. Come on, slide. Let me teach you, baby. Let me teach you. Let me teach you. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, Let me Shaggy. teach you. Come on. Yeah, she got what she deserved and my brother came out there and he was like, what the fuck are y'all doing? And he like separated us or whatever. The girl was leaking out her mouth, leaking out her nose. My mama ends up coming out there and she's like, I'm gonna take you home, I'm gonna call your mom. And I was like telling her, I was like, mom, if you take her home, I'm going to fight her. Like, I'm, if she gets in the car, like if she steps near your car, I'm going to fight her. Like I'm gonna hit her again. If you take her home, if you don't have her mama come pick her up, I'm going to fight her again. I was like, mama, you do not want your car to get effed up. You don't. Um, you're not about to take this girl home. You can call her mama to come get her. You're not taking her home. And like the girl, she's not saying really nothing. She's like embarrassed because she's 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 embarrassed, y'all. She's embarrassed. I mean, I had a I had bruises on my legs because I bruised super easily. So I had bruises all over my legs and like I had a bruise like on my back from falling off the trampoline. But I honestly probably wouldn't have fought her if she would have told me the truth. Knowing me, cause y'all probably think I'm a fighter, but I'm really not. It's really like I be standing on business. It's like, it's, a, it's the principle. If she would have told me the truth right then and there, if she would have been real with me and told me everything, I wouldn't have been her friend. Like I would have told her to call her mama to come get her and I probably would never talk to her again, but it was the plan in my face when I was calmly giving her a chance. Cause I could have dragged her out the shower. like. Current 2023, Chessa, if my homegirl, like, of, of a long time, like, somebody I really, really trust, did, like, mess with my man or something like that, or was messing with a dude I was messing with for a while or something like that, I would probably, in my own house, go in the shower and drag her out the shower and beat her naked. I'm not gonna lie. Like, there was, like, a peer mediation we had at school, like, a, probably, like, a week later, because we kept, like, getting into it at school, and, like, not fighting physically, but we had, like, little issues in class and stuff like that. And peer mediation usually didn't work with me ever, but I had a peer mediation with her and I kind of let it go because, I don't know, I just kind of was like over it. I was over him, I was over the situation with her. I just was like, I agreed to be cordial with the girl. We ain't never become friends again after that situation, but we ain't never had no problems either. If you're watching this girl, sorry I did you like that, but you know what you did, so. And I, yeah, I don't know what to tell you, girl. Hopefully you learned from that and you didn't do your, your friends after that dirty like that but yeah y'all that's the end of this story time if you enjoy make sure you comment like subscribe comment other videos you guys want to see from me turn on the post notification bell so you never miss when i post a video follow me on all my social medias that are in the link tree in the description box below i will catch y'all in the next one bye